So believe it or not, there is another Bush family member who is very ambitious and has big plans for his political career. No, I'm not talking about Jeb Bush. I am, of course, talking about his son, George P. Bush. Now, if you've never heard of George P. Bush, he currently is an elected official in Texas, and he is running for attorney general in Texas. Now, this is him next to his cuck of a father, and here is another picture of him with his war criminal uncle and his war criminal serial sexual assaulting grandfather, who's now dead. And yeah, you can see, like, he looks just like Jeb. But to the chagrin of his family, he decided to go full MAGA after Trump humiliated his father in 2016. And the reason why he went full MAGA is because he really wants Donald Trump's endorsement in this race. Because look, Donald Trump is the Republican Party kingmaker. He still effectively is the leader of the Republican Party. And, you know, the Bush era is over. Now it's all about Donald Trump. So if you want to win, you've got to kiss his ring. So he he posted this to his Twitter page and embarrassingly he actually pinned it. So it's a picture of him and Donald Trump and it says the left's out of control policies are eroding the fabric of our nation. It was great to see President Trump today and discuss how we must come together as a party to restore America first priorities. I appreciate his friendship and kind words as we work together to keep America great. Now, this is one of the most desperate, pathetic, and embarrassing things I've ever seen. I mean, you're, you're selling out your entire family. You're betraying your entire family all so you can get Donald Trump's endorsement to maybe help you win the attorney general race that you're currently in. But um, before I give you the spoiler uh, or the outcome, does anyone want to know um, what happened here? Whether or not Donald Trump actually did agree to endorse him after he betrayed his family and kissed up to Donald Trump? Take a guess. Poor, pathetic, low-energy guy. Donald Trump endorsed Ken Paxton, who is a bigger Trump bootlicker, who is much more crazy than George P. Bush. You love to see it. You love to see it, folks. This is great. Bunch of real dummies. So he took his entire family, threw them under a bus, and then he proceeded to get hit by a train with that train being the Trump train. And just to remind you how detestable Donald Trump was to George P. Bush's mother in 2015, he actually deleted a tweet that he retweeted because even Trump thought, okay, this is a little bit too far. So um, he tweeted this out. Jeb Bush has to like Mexican illegals because of his wife. Literally attacking Jeb Bush's wife specifically because she's Mexican. Poor Jeb. That's your mother, George P. Bush. That's possibly worse than what Ted Cruz, uh, or worse than what Trump did to Ted Cruz's wife. And you're okay with that? Like, this is explicitly racist, and yet you're saying Donald Trump is your friend. You're kissing his ring. How embarrassing. Have some backbone. Try to chart your own path. It's just Republicans are so shameless. And I say Republicans knowing damn well that Democrats are the same exact way. They do the same thing to Barack Obama. But to be fair, Obama doesn't like make these awful personal attacks on other Democrats. He does kill careers of progressive Democrats disproportionately. Uh, but he doesn't make these personal attacks. But Trump does. Like, he makes it personal. He literally attacked George Bush's mother because she's Mexican. And George P. Bush is, like, doing everything in his power to suck up to him. But you love to see it. Look, I will say this. I hate Donald Trump. I despise this individual. But the best thing that he ever did is kill off the Bush dynasty and all of their political careers. He may have, you know, initiated a new, perhaps worse political dynasty if Ivanka Trump and Trump Jr. run for office one day. But still, like what he did, honestly, was a public service. Love him or hate him, you've got to like the fact that Donald Trump killed off the Bush legacy. That is uh, fantastic. It's not that Trump himself is good. It's just that like, you know, when you see ghouls fight each other, sometimes it's really nice, comforting, therapeutic even to just sit back and watch it happen. And this is no different. George P. Bush, uh, you deserve what you get. Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.